This is Rapid Application Note number 17003, uh, report printing, just a very simple text report. So what I've got here is a, uh, a simple screen that I've created that has three integer values, total parts, good parts, bad parts. And if I run this, you can see that those are two, actually three separate uh, tags. So hopefully you've got uh, good parts and bad parts. And, uh, you know, technically, I guess I should add up uh, to be the same. But uh, for the pur purpose of this, uh, we're not going to worry about any of that logic because those are becoming typically from a, a PLC. So what I'm going to do is go back in the development environment, go here under the Tasks tab, right click on Reports and insert a report. So here we're kind of creating our report template. We'll call this Production Report. Um, now this description really doesn't have any effect on the way that it works. It just makes it nice and clean uh, and shows you that description over here in the tree view. Now here I could put a uh, production report and uh, uh, that would print that out uh, every time uh, I, I printed this report. I could make this flexible and put this into a um, string tag. So let's do that. Let's just uh, put this into curly brackets. We'll call this report name. Um, and I'll show you how to set that up in a minute. And so the output file for this will be report name. In this case, since we're doing just a simple text one outside of the curly brackets, I'm going to do dot txt. Um, so what that'll do is when I change my report name, uh, it'll append dot text to the end of that, and that will go into the root of my project folder. That's changeable, um, but just to keep things simple, we're going to do that. Now I want to set up this, um, oh, that report name doesn't exist, so I need to make that a string. Uh, now I'm going to set up just this uh, workspace area here with just some very simple formatting. And the idea is that uh, you put in static text in here, so we'll just call this production report. And maybe we'll put in today's date. And so again, this is just static text, but any um, inside of curly brackets, any tag, in this case, I'm going to use the system tag, the built-in system tag called date, uh, and that will print uh, a snapshot of that tag during uh, runtime. I can also do something like time and time in here. Now those are included system tags. You don't have to create those. <clears throat> and maybe I'll um, character turn down a couple of times and now we'll do uh, total parts. Um, and then we'll do notice that my tag name doesn't have a space uh, but the label of it uh, does. We'll say good parts. And again inside of curly brackets the tag name and inside of curly brackets here in the report I can even do built-in scripting functions that will be evaluated during runtime it's not limited to just tags and maybe this is bad parts notice that my tags uh, are not case sensitive I forgot to uppercase the P and I don't have to fix that and uh, let's see, I'm going to leave that as is. If I wanted to append a report, uh, what I would do is click append and then maybe separate out the header and then this actual, maybe put the time inside of a second report and say append and let that uh, append to the previous uh, report. But uh, for the sake of this, we're gonna, just going to keep it simple. So I'm going to save this and uh, we're going to save this as report one. And what that has done now is it saved that template. If I bring in, here's my project. If I go into the configuration folder, it's saved that as report1.rep, that, that template as report1.rep. Now we need a, uh, just a touch of scripting to uh, get this to work. So here I'm going to go into the help system. And if I go to uh, the built-in scripting language, and probably the easiest thing that I found is list of available functions. Hit Control F for find on your keyboard, type in report, uh, if I could spell, and it's off the bottom of my screen here, so let's get this here. So here's the scripting function, which is uh, report, and then the function inside of quotes, and then optional orientation. Here's the different functions you can print to a disk, uh, uh, printer, or a PDF file. In this case, I'm just going to go to disk. 
and uh, if I scroll down here there's some really good examples and you'll see here that I can print a disk report one well this this example is exactly what I have so let's just go ahead and I'm gonna hit control Z I'm sorry control C on that go back into my development environment and make a button next to this to print the report now this does not need to be on a button this could be in a in a scheduler this could be uh, in a script uh, elsewhere in your project and happen uh, kind of autonomously um, so again it does not need to be on a button and so I'm going to put this command animation now I've got several different ways I could do this since this is built-in scripting language I could put it in here uh, maybe a little bit more readable as I can put it in a VB script interface but when I do that I have to precede it with a dollar sign uh, so there's my report uh, report one uh, print to disk and if I really wanted to I could get the uh, status out of there but again just to keep this simple I'm just gonna leave it at this and if I oh I need a way to uh, uh, put in my screen and uh, my uh, rest uh, sorry my report name so let's give that and we're gonna tie this to that uh, string tag that I made earlier called report name and have that input enabled and you know what I'm just gonna give this a couple more pound signs in here or hash marks and we'll go ahead and hit run and so now we've got uh, let's say we've got 93 66 and 1 and again I'm not paying attention to any math you should probably total up here but let's call this uh, production um, 1 and I'll print the report now I'll change these values uh, say this happened at another time during the day and I'll change this to 2 I could actually append the date and time into this name if I wanted to uh, so there we go we'll, we'll call that production 2 now we'll print report we'll go back to our uh, project folder unfortunately I've closed that let me pull that up off screen here and that's here so you can see production one dot text and production two dot text if we open up production one dot text uh, you'll see that it printed the date the time the total parts good parts bad parts and uh, let's open up production two I'll pull that on screen you can see that's a different set of numbers so uh, very easily just a, a simple way to uh, print uh, uh, a report and uh, we'll go into further details uh, in, in later rapid application notes, but um, feel free to take a look at our training videos covering the reports. Thanks and have a great day.